So what up? Welcome to Thailand News Today. Sorry about the sound issues we had yesterday. We've actually got the same issues again today. Something to do with the phone update I did last weekend. Not talking to my little lapel microphone anymore. So sorry about that. We'll persist and uh, just turn on the closed captions if you don't understand what I am saying. Probably sounds like we're coming to you from a bathroom or something. In the meantime, we will persist. Let's get stuck into today's main stories. Protesting students last night submitted a letter to the German ambassador. The protest started at the Samyan intersection around four o'clock. The protesters walked to the German embassy along Rama 4 Road to the German embassy in Saturn Road, about 1.5 kilometres. After some 10,000 plus students descended on the embassy compound in Saturn Road, the German embassy said it would be ready to receive the petition and convey it to Berlin on condition. It was conveyed in a peaceful manner. The rally disbanded peacefully at around 9pm. Here are a few lines from the letter. The full contents are published at thetiger.com. It was addressed, of course, to His Excellency, the German ambassador to Thailand. During the last few days, we believe that Your Excellency have had the occasion to observe numerous alarming human rights violations in the Kingdom, including the excessive use of force against peaceful protesters and the suppression of free speech. The protesters at the receiving end of these egregious violations were advocating for nothing more than democracy and accountability for the government. One of the most significant and courageous demands from the protesters is the accountability of the monarchy as an institution under the constitution. In this regard, we are certain that Your Excellency is well aware of the open secret that His Majesty does not habitually reside in Thailand, but rather in Bavaria, Germany. Kana Ratzadon International profoundly believes that this violates international custom, law, as well as Article 1 of the German Constitution. We sincerely hope that Your Excellency will convey our grievances to the German government. As I said, the full letter can be read at the tiger.com. Yesterday's German Foreign Minister responded directly to the situation outside the German Embassy in the German Parliament. He said, of course, we're following developments taking place in Thailand and know there are demonstrations and people taking to the streets for their rights. And of course, I'm also watching what the Thai King gets up to in Germany. Earlier yesterday, a group of some 500 supporters of the government and royalists dressed in yellow shirts also demonstrated outside the gates of the German embassy, voicing their support for His Majesty and a continuation of the current system. Meanwhile, both of the rallies outside the German embassy in Bangkok, the royalists and the government supporters earlier yesterday afternoon, and the pro-democracy protesters in the evening have been deemed illegal by Thai police. The Deputy Metropolitan Police Chief says both rallies held outside the embassy on Saton Road did not have the permit required to hold a gathering and demonstrators violated COVID-19 prevention measures under the emergency order. Around 500 royalists got to the embassy first in the afternoon to show support for the Thai monarch. Most were dressed in yellow, the colour representing the Thai monarchy, and many waved the Thai flag and held up photos of the royal family. Police have arrested three people and have issued arrest warrants for three others after they allegedly impersonated immigration officials in Rayong. They visited business owners with migrant staff, asking them for money. Police say three men wearing immigration police uniforms visited business owners in Rayong on September the 15th. They allegedly asked for money from the businesses with migrant labourers. Investigators were able to track down three of the suspects and found the immigration police uniforms they allegedly used. Another 145 people have arrived at Bangkok's Sawanapum Airport on the special tourist visa, again from Guangzhou in China. The first, well, tourists since the borders were closed in Thailand some seven months ago. 
39 people on the new long-stay visa arrived last week, a small yet significant step forward for Thailand as it pries open the borders for tourists, albeit with a lot of paperwork, restrictions and the 14-day quarantine. In 2019, nearly 40 million tourists visited Thailand. Officers from the Thai police and military have arrested three Chinese after they crossed over the Thai border from the Burmese town of Mayawadi. The two women and one man were workers at a casino in Myanmar and were arrested in possession of 8 million baht in Masot, northern Thailand. Officers detained them as they were getting into two cars, allegedly arranged for them by two Thai men. And 16 people from the dissolved Future Forward Party, including the former leader Tanatorn, could face criminal charges pressed by the Electoral Commission. The charges are over a large donation that allegedly exceeds the maximum allowed under the Political Parties Act. The timing of the politically charged legal action coincides with a peak of anti-government protest activity. The 191 million baht loan, which exceeds the limit of 10 million baht per donor per year, led the Constitutional Court to dissolve the Future Forward Party back in February. The court also ordered the party's executive MPs to be stripped of their parliamentary status and banned from politics for 10 years. Thanks for persisting with us with our audio problems again today. We've got 24 hours to try and sort it out before tomorrow. In the meantime, please do catch that Pattaya video. We're quite uh, sure it paints a fairly accurate picture of what's happening there at the moment. And no cats around today at the moment. Sorry about that, but we'll be back again tomorrow.